Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I've asked you guys for questions. I wasn't planning on driving anywhere, but it's hot in here. And so I just want to drive with the windows down to cool things off for a second. It is toasty. Like my hands are literally like burning right now. I asked you guys to ask me some questions. Um, so I'm going to be answering those today. Some of them are really dumb and just silly, but there are some deeper ones too because we love deep things on YouTube. They're all on my phone and we do not stand texting and driving so I'm gonna just be waiting a second until I find somewhere to park or I just come back to my house. Um, oh my gosh my hands are burning. <laughs> Bro, I'm just not having it today. I, I just know I get her awkward. <laughs> I'm just getting ready today and I was like wow I'm just not that cute today. But you know what that's okay. Win some, you lose some. I'm going too fast. That is not like me at all. I swear I never speak if anything I'm like going five below and I have cards tailgating me. The phone is greasy. It's because my sister used it. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. She's probably watching this. Sorry, Lindsay. Okay. First question is, what's your dream job? So, I don't like have any dreams or ambitions right now, but... <laughs> Okay, that's not completely true. There's still things I want to do with my life. I just am not positive at the moment What I want to do with my life, but like I'm not opposed to anything. I want to um, Like uh, I want to move into a van and I know that sounds like I'm joking around but like I'm not like I literally that's like my dream um, So that's my dream, but it's not a job. So like at least I have dreams <laughs> I guess I want to like be a youtuber. I guess that's a dream job mm. I like musical theater so I guess I could keep that up oh my bra is showing oh no what are we gonna do okay so ah, I just cut my hand on that um I uh I'm wearing Crocs <laughs> like I, I guess if like I had to choose probably like youtuber performer actually and like I kind of want to do like acting in movies too i've been more into that lately but we'll see what happens you know so i guess that's that's my dream job why did you start youtube so i started youtube when i was 13 years old back in 2017 and 2017 was kind of um the end of the really toxic youtube era there's an era in youtube probably like 2014 to 2017 where it was really People were very, very fake. They weren't themselves on camera. They seemed like they had very perfect, happy lives. Um, everything was bright and neon, and every video was like expectation versus reality or life hacks. And like 13 year old girls that were perfectly healthy were posting like weight loss hacks and things like that. And it was just a very toxic time in YouTube. I'm very grateful that for the most part we're over that, and now most videos are. Um, more down to earth and just like real. I started YouTube in that era, um, towards the end of that era actually, and I think part of the reason is because I had this assumption that YouTubers do have perfect lives. Because I was just 13 year years old and so I was very young and naive and I was ve very, very different from how I am now. And I was very easily affected by social media like every, you know, teenager is. Especially at the age when you're so young and you're kind of just being like exposed to all of this um, I I just have this idea that if I if I was a youtuber people would like me more and my life would be all put together I don't know that was just kind of the idea that a lot of youtubers start because they're lonely and that was that definitely had to do with it as well um, I always like struggled to um, find friends and make friends and stick with friends for a variety of reasons so that was also part of the reason I started YouTube. Um, I love how I'm like making like not deep questions really deep, but I mean that's just my mood right now. It's just real life, you know what I mean? Like it really is. Like sometimes I just get really, really sad. Sometimes I get really, really happy. Sometimes I'm bored. Sometimes I'm lonely. Sometimes I'm a total like complete crackhead and I'm like jumping off the walls. And like right now I'm just not having it and like there's nothing wrong with that but like the only thing that is wrong with that is like I hope my negativity isn't like going through the screen. Next question is are you an introvert or extrovert? I get this question so much because I think people are genuinely just confused and honestly I am too. So like I like I am a talkative social person 
and I can be very talkative when I get the chance. I am social when I'm in the right mindset, but honestly, rarely am I in the right mindset. Most of the time, I would say, like the majority of the time, I just prefer to be alone, which sounds like a sad thing, but it's just how I am personally. And I also, when it comes to like working with people, I work better alone just because I'm a very like controlling person and I just know that um, I'll either get super distracted if I'm working with someone else or it'll just be a pain and I just I just prefer to work alone like I really do and that's part of my idea of living in a van is that I'll get to be alone I mean I definitely try to make sure that I hang out with people like no I don't let's be real <laughs> I don't hang out with people ever but like I I go to school I talk to people at, I don't talk to people at school but I, I go to rehearsals I do theater and I love 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 my theater family and I talk to them all the time and rehearsal like that is my social life and I know that sounds sad but it's really not like it's a really good thing for me and I really enjoy that I guess I can't really answer your question it depends on the day I guess you could say I'm an ambivert and I've also kind of thought maybe you could just say I'm an extrovert with social anxiety I hate talking about mental illness just because well I love talking about it but it's hard just because there's such a, like a stupid stigma with it and like I've never talked about like my anxiety on YouTube but like it's a real thing a lot of people struggle with it personally I struggle with generalized anxiety a little bit but um, mainly just social anxiety there's something in my eye the good news is something I've learned from quarantine is that I think I need people more than I think that does that make sense like I I've had this kind of idea that like I don't need people I'm fine to be alone all the time because I don't hang out with people very much um but I think from this experience I've learned I need people more than I realize and um hanging out with people is something that I'm gonna try to work on and endeavor to do more often and it's just hard for me because sometimes I do have really fun time hanging out with people but I have to be in the right mindset and I haven't learned how to get into that mindset yet and those are just things that I need to work on and hopefully eventually learn and get to that place where I know how to get myself in that mindset because right now it just depends on the day I don't know and like rarely 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 am I in the right mindset to hang out with people and actually have fun. Okay, here's a more light question that hopefully I won't get into too deeply because I don't think there's really any way you could, but it's what's your favorite vegetable? I just love food. I literally love all food and all variety of foods. There's like very few foods that I don't like, but like when it comes to vegetables, like I really, I like squash. I like spinach and lettuce. Not really lettuce as much. I like spinach though. Oh my gosh, I love cucumbers. Wait, are cucumbers a fruit? I don't even know. Hey Siri, are cucumbers a fruit? Okay, it says used as a vegetable. I just thought it might be a fruit because it's juicy and like has seeds. Okay, I don't know anymore. But cucumbers are delicious. Are avocados a fruit? Wait! Hey Siri, are avocados a fruit? The avocado is a green or black fruit that grows on every- It's a fruit. Okay. So, yeah, I like Brussels sprouts. Oh wait, no, asparagus. That's my favorite vegetable. Why have I not even thought of that yet? Asparagus is my favorite vegetable. I love asparagus. Oh, it's the sketchiest thing you've done. So, I don't do sketchy things, like ever. And that's uh, something I also wanna work on because there's a difference between, um, you know, being brave and getting out of your comfort zone and just being straight up dangerous. And um, I think that I don't realize that sometimes and sometimes I just think things are very dangerous when they really aren't and they're just adventurous um, and so I definitely especially this summer um, in my state personally the um, quarantine is slowly starting to not be very relevant anymore and so I'm really hoping by June which is in like two weeks um, I'll be will be good and um, I can hopefully have like adventure and again like I said earlier like actually hang out with friends but why did I turn that question deep again oh my gosh what's the sketchiest thing I've ever done literally nothing I don't know I went on a roller coaster one I went on cannibal at lagoon that's kind of sketchy for me personally 
I went on a, uh, I did a zip line once. I don't know, I don't do scary or sketchy things ever, like ever. And like I just said, I need to work on that. It's back so basically my, my camera ran out of battery and um I just stopped filming for a second but we're back and I went and got food got some arctic circle did they forget my fry sauce oh they didn't okay just Utah things <laughs> that's annoying okay I got a lot of food I don't know why I think I just ate a hair cool okay, the next question is do you know how adorable you are I mean, I get these kinds of questions on every q and I do, and I never know how to answer them. So I'm just going to pass on that one. Next one, what's your favorite fruit? I like kiwi. Oh, okay. Is this filming? I always check. I always doubt that it's filming. No, I like kiwi, avocado, uh, strawberries, blackberries. I like all berries except for blueberries. I don't love blueberries. Technically, tomatoes are a fruit. I love, love cherry tomatoes so much. Um, oranges are good. Oh my gosh, mangoes are delicious. Yeah. Love all those. Next question. Have you met any famous people? Yes, I have. So, um, not very many. I've seen a lot of famous people, but just never had the guts to talk to them. Like, for example, I've seen... I don't know if you guys know who they are, but there's a YouTube channel called... Um, Yowie Vlogs. It stands for You Are Worth It. It used to be the Tannerites. And I have a daughter named Allie. I knew we lived in the same state, but I didn't realize how close we actually were because she's actually in my school's region. She showed up at Region Solo and Ensemble um, this year, actually, and so basically what it is is you just perform a solo. So she was there, I think she was performing a violin solo, and basically what you do is when you get to the school it's hosted at, you just wait for your turn to perform in front of the judges, <clears throat> so you always just kind of find a room to get out your instrument and warm up in and everything. So. Me and my friends went into the dance lab at their school because there was just a lot of lot like a lot of space. But like a lot of people were in there, like probably about 50. But we go in there and we're taking out our violins and stuff. And then Allie freaking just walks in and sits next to me and starts taking out her violin. And I was too afraid to say anything. So I did it, but she just kind of sat next to me for like a good like 10 minutes and I just kind of sat there in shock. It was funny. Um, and I've never met them or had a chance to meet these guys, but I've seen um, Pentatonix and Lindsey Sterling in concert, so that's cool. I love Dr. Pepper! Oh my gosh, my dad's home. He's probably going to see me. That's awkward. <laughs> I just waved at my dad and he smiled at me and didn't even question what I was doing. Love that. Oh, another one. I saw Jeremy from CDOC at Costco once, but I was too afraid to say anything. But famous people I've like actually met and talked to. One time I met Clay Leia and her dad and her little brothers all from the Ohana adventure thrifting once. I knew they, again, I knew they lived in Utah, but I didn't know, realize how close they lived to me. Um, but I was just at a thrift store and lo and behold, there they were and I literally freaked out. It was crazy. Um, they're super, super nice. I rate my experience with them 10 out of 10. And then I also have met the piano guys. Um, funny story, I actually, uh, performed with the piano guys. It was crazy. I played violin with them for one of their songs at one of their concerts, and it was such an insane experience. So, yeah, I had, I definitely met them. My next question is, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I don't even know. Too many. Too many. I want to say around anywhere between 40 and 60 is my estimate, but, like, I have a lot. Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? Story time! I've had too many story times in this video. When I was like three, I used to do ballet, right? And I got, um, this teddy bear for my third birthday. Um, might have been my fourth birthday, I'm not sure. She came with a cute little backpack and everything. And I got her from, oh my gosh! I kid you not, a bee just ran into my window. That's not a bee, that's a wasp. Oh, not today, honey. I'm not even joking. It came up to my window and was like, I'm not kidding. That was not okay. Yeah, my grandma gave me this teddy bear and really, really liked her. I named her Teddy and I brought her to all of my dance classes and my dance teacher probably hated it. 
but I brought her to every single dance class and my mom kept getting mad at me and was like, you can't bring her to dance class this time, but I would always sneak her anyway. And like, we were like this, we slept together and it was great. Till one day, I decided to bring her to the park with me and I left little Teddy at the park and she was never found again. And it still makes me sad to this day, honestly, which sounds so dumb, but like, I was devastated. I did not stop thinking about where that teddy bear was and didn't stop looking for that teddy bear for like, oh, so I don't know, like 10 years. I still think about it. It still makes me sad. It's literally so sad. Anyway, that sucked and my mom kept trying to buy like replacements of Teddy, like bears that looked exactly like her or she, she even tried to find the actual one. Um, she would come up to me and she'd be like, look, I found her. And I'd be like, that is not Teddy. I just knew. I just knew, okay? I don't still have my te childhood teddy bear, but I have about a million replicas of my childhood teddy bear because my mom tried so hard to find one that would make me happy because I literally fell into like a state of depression for years because of this teddy bear. It's, it's really sad. Next question is, do you like scary movies? No. Okay, I'm a scaredy cat. I have seen a couple scary movies, and the weird thing is, is I literally hate watching scary movies, but after I watch it, I love it. It's a weird thing. I don't know. They give you, like, a lot of adrenaline. I said that so weird. They give you a lot of adrenaline. I'm definitely more of a lighthearted, realistic comedy, family m movie kind of person, if that makes sense. What is the last movie that made you cry? I'm, I'm a baby, it's probably the last movie I watched. My dad's out there again, he's giving me weird looks. I think the last movie I cried during was Star Wars, like the new one. It came out on Disney Plus like a week ago, so we saw it like a couple days ago, and yeah, it made me cry a little bit. I love Star Wars! Okay, what is the weird food combination that you do? It sounds so weird, but honestly, macaroni and cheese with orange juice. I don't even want to talk about my sanity right now. Thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to me that you've stayed this far. <laughs> I, I love you guys a lot. Stay at home, stay safe, obviously, you know. Um, I mean, I know that most states have um, lifted some restrictions, which is really, really good. But that doesn't mean that like quarantine is over. So still make sure you're making those precautions, but go eat food because it's good. Okay, that's all I have to say. Goodbye!